A lot of houses are decorated in red, white, and blue for Memorial Day, but in Youngstown, signs in the yard carry a deeper meaning. First News reporter Cheyenne Gibbons has that story. On the front yard of a home on Cooper Street in Youngstown, flags fly in the wind. Accompanying them are signs representing different wars and the dates. Danielle Hergenrader made the signs by hand in honor of family members that have fought in each war. We're very proud with what we've done. We're going to tweak it a little bit more, but it's just a labor of love. It's just something, you know, we believe in the vets. I'm not a vet, but my husband is. I'm just a vet of him of 35 years, and we're still here. Yeah. The Hergen Raiders didn't put the display up for the past few years, but decided to put it out again this year. Skyler says it's important to honor Memorial Day and to learn from our past. This is just basically my way of saying, hey, thank you, and I remember, and I, I'm honoring not only myself, but my wife's family, my family, and every... Uh, military family. While the display is to honor their family, there's also a message the Hergen Raiders want to share. Remember who we are, where we came from, that this is our country. They need to remember this is what our country's been founded on. It's what it's based on. And it's not just what comes out of Washington or out of, you know, somebody's bank account. This is bloodshed. Tomorrow morning, they'll lower the flags to half mass, and at noon, they'll raise them again. In Youngstown, Shina Gibbons, WKBN 27 First News. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.